You guys okay? My why my stand is not holding its own. All right, so I'm back to number 12. I intended to make one lesson out of this, but the sand thrip flew, uh, flew over and <laughs> turned off the video, so here we go. So we're taking this problem, number 12, and we're going to condense everything. So the first thing is we're going to notice inside the first set of brackets we have two logs that are added so I can combine their arguments by addition uh, by multiplication and over here just leave that for now so let's multiply the one-fifth through so we get one-fifth log to the base 4 of 7x uh, minus um, maybe we shouldn't do the one-fifth just yet sorry 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 alright now we have two logs that are subtracted leave the one-fifth out let's go ahead and write them as one log where the arguments are divided and now the one-fifth All right, is there an, such an answer as this? No. <laughs> All right, this one-fifth has to go in back where it creates an exponent of one-fifth, and that we know is a fifth root. So I'll go ahead and write it. We got enough good lighting here. So I'm going to put the fifth root of seven, fifth root of seven x over y. See if that is one of our answers. It looks like the answer is uh, C. Alright. Alright, let's go on to number 13. And on that one, we have this equation to solve. In order to, whenever the exponent it contains the variable, we want to get it down out of the exponent, and we're going to take the log of both sides to do that. This tells me what base to use. So we have log to the base six of six to the x equals log to the base six of eight because we know log to the base six of six to the x. What exponent do I give six to get six to the x? The answer is x. So now we know how to do this. It's the change of base formula. So I think when I plug that in, I'm going to get 1.86, which is letter E. All right. Number 14, we're going to solve this equation. Let me get another piece of paper here. one to the fifth raised to the x equals 125 and the command is solve so we want to find x and we want to undo we want to get the x down so we're going to take log to the one-fifth of one-fifth to the x log to the base one-fifth of 125 so when we do that we get what exponent do I give one-fifth to get one-fifth to the x? x. And now what exponent do I give, so here's what's in my thoughts. One-fifth raised to the what gives me 125. That's what this means. So obviously it's going to be a negative exponent. And what uh, value, what exponent will I raise um, 5 to to get 125? 5 times 5 is 25 times 5 is 125. So hopefully it makes sense to you that the answer is negative 3. 
1 fifth raised to the negative 3. The negative part will invert this. It will become 5, and 5 to the 3 is 125. So this logarithm is negative 3. It is the answer C. All right, again, I need to see the work. This is study sheet number 15. Log to the base 3 of 3 to the 6 is saying what exponent do I give 3 to get 3 to the 6. All right, that answer is C. Fifth 16. 9. Raised log to the base 9 of 2. All right, this one is a different way of thinking. And it is saying that here in this section, it's saying what I, this is the exponent I raised 9 to to get 2. So whatever that is, I'm going to raise 9 to it. So I get 2. So when you raise 9 to the exponent that you raise 9 to to get 2, you do get 2. And that answer is A. All right, 17. We're going to remember these graphs. We did a little bit of that earlier. E is the important one. Remember, it always, the exponential graphs, because uh, really takes two points. So I'm going to graph 0 and 1. e to the 0 is 1. e to the 1 is e. e is a little below 3. It's 2.7-ish. And the tail goes like this. So I just want to graph also y equals 5 to the x. I'm going to do it on here just to show you how it is similar. 0 5 to the 0 is 1, and then I'm going to do 1. 5 to the 1 is 5. So I go over 1 and up 5. So notice the graph is just goes up quicker and is very similar other than that. All right, so see the, see the relationship there. Last but not least was that log problem I promised you. We did one log equation. The command is solve. And this time, we want to find x. That's when you solve. So give yourself the command solve. And you're going to not, well, since log appears twice here and, and zero times on this side, we have to find another method of solving. So I'm going to use log rules to combine these into one. So we have two logs that are subtracted. So I'm going to make it one log where the two arguments are divided. Now we have to get rid of the word log by switching to exponential form, which we trained on earlier. So the unwritten base is 10. It's always this number raised to this number equals this number or expression. So, follow your mathematical nose and I want to get rid of this denominator. So we'll multiply by 8 minus 5x on both sides. That's 100. So we get 800 minus 500x equals x. So now we get 800 equals, move the 500 over, and we get 501x, and divide. x equals 800 divided by 501. All right, you can change that to a decimal. I notice this is positive, and I believe it's like 1 point something. So 8 minus 5 times 1 point something is going to be positive and it's going to be positive. So you give me the decimal and I'll check it off that it does not cause a problem with negative or zero logarithm uh, arguments in the logarithm. So we will accept it. All right, hopefully that brings everything crashing back to your mind and that you can um, enjoy your review tomorrow because the problems there will parallel these. So math is fun when you get them right. So let's be there. Carry on.